Tom Hom was the first minority elected to San Diego City Council in 1963, and he later served as a state assemblyman. He helped establish the Gas Lamp Historic District, and he led the effort for the city's Chinese Historical Museum. And now he has written a book about achieving the American dream in his memoir, Rabbit on a Bumpy Road, a story of courage and endurance. Tom Hom, welcome to Evening Edition. Thank you, thank you. Now Tom, this year uh, you turn 87. You were born in 1927, the year of the rabbit. That's right. Uh, how did San Diego's Chinatown uh, get started? Well, well, like all immigrants, they have a tendency to migrate together, the custom, the comfort zone, the foods and things of that sort. That's, that's how they, they migrated. And, and where is San Diego's Chinatown? Basically, it's a, the central area, 3rd and J Street, downtown, right next to where the gas lamp is today, except it was called the Stingery District then. Gas lamp was called that. Oh, Stingery. The, uh, I want to jump forward a little bit to uh, 1963. This is when you became the first Asian American and the first non-white on uh, San Diego City Council. Uh, was this a victory, do you consider, for Asian Americans uh, in, in the community? And, and did you experience any bigotry or, or racism at that time? Um, you know, uh, I, I don't look for it. Uh, if, if, if it appeared, it doesn't bother me. Um, my dad, with 12 children, always taught us to say, always believe who you are, what you are, and for your character. And if people have a problem with that, who you are, it's their problem, not your problem. So, no, I, I never really had a problem in that respect. I know our political world today is much more focused on diversity and, and trying to make sure that minorities are included as far as communities and representation. Um, how do you think this is influencing politics? Well, uh, of course, the uh, population changes. Diversity has taken hold. And uh, when I grew up, they had, uh, let's say, uh, segregation, either legally or uh, de facto segregation, uh, that uh, much of that has disappeared, and uh, so it has become a let's say uh, a diversified community. So it, it's changed quite a bit, and uh, I, I think this is uh, the dawn of a new America, and uh, so uh, I think it's a good example for the rest of the world. Um, getting back to your memoir, um, I understand you relied on your personal diaries that you started in 1957 uh, to write this book. What surprised you most when you reread your uh, early entries? Well, uh, what surprises me perhaps uh, uh, the experience I have, I've gone through, uh, I, uh, the 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 energy that perhaps I exerted doing some of these things. At age 87, sometimes you marvel at that, that I was able to do these things. So, yeah, it, it's, uh, it's, it uh, has been a challenge, but a very worthwhile, satisfying. Your book really captivates the reader with a historical uh, picture of San Diego post-World War II. What was it about this time period that made, uh, that sort of, as you titled it, made it this sort of bumpy road? Well, um, after the war, the city has changed quite a bit. Prior to the war, there were, uh, uh, let's say, a se segregation and uh, de facto and legal as well. Uh, a lot of that started to disappear. And uh, as time went on, uh, uh, e even in the 50s, we wanted to buy a, a house for my mother and my siblings, 12 siblings and uh, we couldn't buy it because of deed restrictions on properties. And that covered about 85% of San Diego. So, uh, but, but nevertheless, we overcame that. We were able to buy a house and, uh, very, in a very nice area, good schools for my, my siblings. And we're so glad you mm -hmm. did uh, overcome uh, so much. Now, I want to let folks know that they can meet you, Tom Hom, uh, at your book launch in San Diego next Thursday, May 29th. For information, go to our website, kpbs.org. A former city councilman and state assemblyman and author, Tom Hom, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.